Hi boys and girls, it is Miss Sosha coming to you from my kitchen this time because we are doing plate portraits of um, Giuseppe Arcambaldo, who was a Renaissance artist about 500 years ago and he made these really, really creative portraits by using um, fruits and vegetables in portraits. So he didn't actually build them, he painted them. He has one that is the Four Seasons, he even has some that are out of books and somebody's fingers are the pages so um, his artwork's really creative so what I want you to do is to find a plate um, and you might need your parents permission for this and I want you to find different materials in your kitchen to make portraits on them so the dark green plate I have materials that are not edible they are not natural materials they are um, the tops of some Tupperware and then our coffee scoop for the nose and then a cheese spreader made out of tomatoes for the mouth. And then over here on the left, on the, um, maybe it's your right, but on the light green plate, we have one made out of natural materials. So I cut some rosemary out of our garden for the hair, and then we've got little cherry tomatoes for the eyes, and I have a little tiny um, orange pepper for the nose, and I kept trying to think what I could find for the mouth, and I decided some pasta would be fun. So you can either, upload a video like this, just showing off your plate portrait to our fifth grade flip grid, or you could take a picture of it, or you could do a drawing. So like Giuseppe Arcambaldo, he painted the pictures. What you can do is after you make this creation, then you can draw a picture of what it looks like using whatever you have on hand and you could upload that, or you could do both, and we can do kind of like a comparison and contrast of your drawing. So if I did that, I would probably start with pencil. Just use some plain paper you have around the house, and you can color it however you want, outline it however you want, um, but that would be a fun way to try and get used to drawing natural materials or some basic shapes you have around the house. And it would also be fun to see how you draw things that are um, looking like faces. So you can do any of those options, but whatever you do, upload it to our fifth grade Flipgrid. Don't forget to respond to other boys and girls appropriately. So look at the videos of your classmates and other fifth graders, respond to them, give them some positive feedback, and that will really help each other out because it's kind of hard at home with just our family. We don't get to talk in our groups like normal. So go ahead and upload something to our Flipgrid to talk to each other about that. And I can't wait to see what you're going to make. Bye, boys and girls.